Hey friends, I'm Laura and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be decorating the house for autumn and I am so excited. I am excited to decorate for autumn and welcome the changing seasons into our home. And I wanted to start off this vlog by actually grabbing everything I have that's like autumn decor or Halloween decor and putting it all out on the dining room table and just seeing what I have. I don't want to start off like the autumn transition by buying stuff because I don't actually know if I need anything or want anything and it just seems really wasteful in a season when I'm trying to declutter. So I want to be wise about this and I figured the best way to be wise about it is to see what we have and see what we don't. So I'm going to grab everything autumnal out of the garage and yeah, let's see what we're working with. <laughs> So this is what we are working with. We've got a throw blanket, which is so cute. We've got these cute little acorns that my husband's mom made us. So sweet. And some dried flowers that my best friend got me when my dog died a couple years ago. And uh, she bought them for me fresh and she said she bought them because they would also look good dry and it happened to be two years ago, like almost exactly, it was in September. So it's gonna be changing seasons and the dried florals are just so pretty and they're meaningful because of the, the way that I received them. We've got a series of faux pumpkins here. Very cute, all different sizes and lots of different colors. A lot of DIYs from last year, my DIY autumn wreath and my DIY Ollivander sign. All of these were DIYs. They've got a piece of tin foil on the back to cover the glue dot, but it's a bunch of black butterflies and moths. This cat I am obsessed with. It's still one of my favorite things ever. And I've got a series of these uh, candlesticks in different autumnal colors and I have several of these black candlestick holders. The candlestick holders are year-round decor but usually they have white candles in them and I have a few candlesticks to change out the colors. A lot of Halloween stuff. Halloween lights for the front lawn to let people know we are open for trick-or-treating. We've got some stuff back there left over from Halloween party last year, so that'll be great to be able to use this year. We also have a few candles. So we have a few of those from last year that we never got around to burning. And I feel like that's pretty good on the candle front, which means I don't need to buy any more. And yeah, some cute little mugs back there. This is actually a really good assortment of items. The first gap that I am noticing is that there's not a lot of florals. So we have a few vases throughout the house that I use for decor and almost all year round they just have greenery in them. But for autumn, I would like some color in there, like some beautiful red leaves or yellow leaves or orange leaves or something. I'm thinking I will want some of that and I don't really have a lot of that right now aside from the one sprig of the tried florals right there. So I might need something to put in the vases around the house. And then the other thing I'm noticing is I don't like the wreath from last year. I felt like it was just kind of odd because it's only got stuff on the bottom and it was meant to like look wispy and feminine and cute, but and I, I think it does when you get up close, but from the road, it just looks really weird and bottom heavy. Like you can't even really tell what's happening there. So I don't know. And the colors are like very beige and light, which works because our front door is like a dark green black color, but I don't really like it. And I think what I want to do for this autumn is a dried floral wreath that I make myself because I also love to do DIYs every season and 
all the time. I love the DIY life and the creative life. So I think I wanna make a new wreath for the front door using some dried florals. So that's another thing I will need some autumn florals for. So now that we have everything out, I think the next best idea is to get rid of anything that I know I don't want. Like these little cauldrons right here. I bought them for a party last year because I thought they'd be so cute with like some little snacks coming out of them, but they're actually too tiny to fit anything in or on them or yeah, they just did not work out at all. So I'm gonna get rid of these. The next items I think I can go ahead and get rid of are these pumpkins from Michaels. They're the DIY pumpkins. You can see this one has been painted. It's actually been painted several times before. And then the other one is this one from Michaels too, from previous years. And I think I'll give those to my best friend because she's painting a lot of Michaels pumpkins this year. But I just don't like the shape of these. To me, uh, yeah, it's not my vibe. Even when I buy pumpkins, I don't buy the pumpkins that look like this. I buy the fantasy pumpkins that have like a lot of curves and different colors and are really big and kind of flattish. I don't like these like big upright ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these two pumpkins, I think. This is another upright pumpkin that I think I can go ahead and get rid of because again, I like the fantasy ones. I don't really like the big regular pumpkin things. So put that in the end of the pile. This pumpkin I think I can get rid of. It's got this weird line down the middle. Do you see that? I hate it and I feel like it doesn't look very real because you can see that line down the middle of the mold it was made in, I think. So I'll go ahead and get rid of that one. But yeah, I think everything else is good and I've got a good view of things and now I know what I'm missing. Definitely florals. <laughs> missing a lot of floral moments. So I might have to purchase some of that. But overall, we've got a good vibe happening here. I start decorating in the kitchen. I only have a few items to exchange in here. I add a cute little ghosty to keep our sponge in. And then I also have a little pumpkin ceramic candy dish for our candy instead of being in its regular bowl. And then the first thing I always do when resetting the house is light the candles. I started with a clean slate. I had already done the dishes, but lighting that candle, getting the scent in the house right, just puts me in such a good, calm, relaxing space. And I feel like it makes the house feel so warm and inviting. So had to do that as one of the first things that I did. I also changed out the greenery and the vase in the kitchen for some dried flowers. And that's about all I do. I add a cute little dish towel with fall colors and leaves on it. And then I'm gonna head over to the living room and get started there. I originally tried decorating our fireplace mantle with this scarf or table runner that my husband has. And it wasn't long enough to cover the span of the fireplace mantle. It just ended up looking really strange up there. So I kept the pumpkins, removed the scarf, and then I started adding in my DIYs from last year. And that's the black moths and butterflies and then the ollivander sign that ollivander sign is one of my all-time favorite diys it's rose gold foil and so pretty and i love harry potter i grew up with it and i celebrate his birthday every year it's a whole thing like i'm very into it so having those nods towards the harry potter fandom I really love that and yeah, love the way that the fireplace mantle turned out. The only thing I really decorate in the living room is the fireplace mantle. I know some people go all out and they would decorate every surface and all the shelves and everything, but 
I think we just, we don't have that much storage space to store all that seasonal stuff in the off seasons to decorate every surface. And then also too, I just don't want to spend that much money on decor because if I were to do that for every holiday and every season, that would get insanely expensive. So I just do the fireplace mantle and then I move on to create my new autumn wreath. I love how this autumn wreath turned out. It's so lovely and feminine and soft. It was a grapevine wreath base and I did a smaller wreath than I usually would do. And I used like this grayish, slightly lavender pompous grass for the base of it. And then I added in the different bunny tails and dyed eucalyptus on top. And I love how that looks. I also added the cute little white faux pumpkins from last year's wreath to it. And I think it turns out so cute. The purple color is like a nice subtle nod to Halloween for me. It's not just fall. I feel like all of my fall wreaths usually have a more neutral color palette, but the purple really makes it look appropriate for Halloween. So I loved that as well. And the only thing I would change about the wreath is the pine cones. I added pine cones to it because they were on my wreath last year and I love the way they look, but after this was all put together, I realized the pine cones like speak more winter to me, not really autumn. So I didn't love them on the autumn wreath, but I hot glued them to the dried florals and I would have destroyed the florals had I have ripped the pine cones up afterwards. So they're here to stay for this year. <laughs> Moving right along with the different DIY and decorating projects, I also had DIY terracotta jack-o'-lanterns on my to-do list this year or my bucket list for autumn decorating and projects and I followed a tutorial from Liz Gavin and I'll tell you why, I think she did hers with uh, like clay pumpkins and it, it didn't work for the plastic ones. On the blog, it said it would work, but it didn't. If I tried using straight acrylic paint, it wasn't sticking to the plastic pumpkins or coating them solidly. And then when I tried adding some baking soda for the really fun, like, faux pottery look, which was a DIY I've seen elsewhere. When I tried doing that, I don't know if it was the moisture fluctuation or the temperature fluctuation from the pumpkins being outside, but that paint entirely cracked and I had to scrub all those layers of paint off and stir all over again. And I just didn't, I didn't love the way they turned out. I think Liz's turned out so much more beautifully and I'm not sure where I went wrong there, if it was just user error. Either way, it was a good start for this year because I bought all the jack-o'-lanterns and I tried <laughs> to do the DIY. I might in future years change the color of them though because this just didn't hit the spot for me, but it'll do for this year because Quite honestly, I don't have the time or energy to change it out. The front porch looks so cute with all the DIYs though. I also changed out the flowers in the urn planters that flank the front door. And I love those black petunias and then the ornamental kale and ivy. And I think my favorite part is the ghost doormat. Oh my gosh, that was a DIY I did last year or the year before and I am still obsessed. It is so cute. I love that doormat so much. Then I made a couple small changes in our bedroom. We have had the same duvet cover for years and it's getting really worn and I love it, but it also doesn't like it's not very relaxing to me. It's like got greenery all over it and I think it's so great for spring and summer but for autumn and winter I really wanted something a lot more neutral and calm in the space so I did a new duvet cover and then I also changed out the candle on my nightstand and the book that I'm reading 
And I love how subtle little changes like that can make all the difference to making it feel more like autumn. Just smelling season appropriate scents and reading a book that has all those seasonal elements to it makes me feel fully immersed into the current seasons. And then lastly, I decorated the dining room table, which Luna, our cat, uh, was very interested in trying to chew and bite all of the things that went onto the dining room table. And that wraps up my decorating for this season. So this video was supposed to come out in like September, but I had a really big distraction the last month or so, and this is what it was. So instead, decorating got pushed back, and this little guy became a priority. You wanna say hi? Say hi, Benjamin. Hi. He's so precious <laughs> and he is worth every bit of distraction and every bit of delay getting things decorated this year. But right now he is whining because he needs to go play and get some of his energy out and it's thunderstorming outside. So I have to run around the house with him and play fetch with him and stuff. So gonna go do that and I hope you've enjoyed seeing how the house came together for autumn and how I decorated the inside spaces for Halloween and autumn in general and yeah make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of what I'm up to hopefully Christmas stuff will actually like come out on time but we'll see who knows uh, how long it'll take to train a puppy <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.